the guys that I would tell you that the Jazz would be interested in, Grady Dick, Anthony Black, and Cam Whitmore. Well, well, and well. And from what I understand, Cam Whitmore is is of big interest Stud. to the Utah Jazz. And I think rightfully so. I absolutely think rightfully so. I, I think when you look at um, where the Utah Jazz are, it, it is not, in my opinion, in their timeline. And it's unfortunate because I think Ammon Thompson is going to be a hell of a player in this league. But I do agree it's going to take three to five years to get him NBA ready. Uh-huh. And I think that's a real problem. And I think, I think when you look at Victor Wambanyama, he's a three-year project. I mean, he's not, he's not got an NBA body at this point. And I, I'm really concerned about his ability to shoot the three. He's only shooting 29% in France. And the reason that's so significant is because I don't believe that he can go inside and bang with the bodies that are in the NBA. Victor's the way. Because even guys like, like think about Josh Hart with the Knicks, blocking dudes at the rim. Like, is Victor Wambanyama dunking on the strong guards in this league? Is, is he – think about John Morant. If John Morant's coming for that ass, is, is Victor Wambanyama doing anything about it? No. Nah. He's not. But luckily, Ja won't be because he'll be at home or in counseling. But think, think about a guy like Ant. Think about a guy like – I mean, if you think about the best players in this league – You're not Jimmy Butler, dude. No. You're not. Exactly you're right. Not what are not stopping Jason Tatum. But what are you going to do if you're Victor Wambanyama and Julius Randle or Anthony Davis or – because they're going to pick and roll your ass into Anthony um, Davis and LeBron James. Because if he's playing, let's say he plays a 3-4 combo. Yeah. Are you telling me the Lakers won't pick and roll him into defending um, Anthony Davis um, every single time? You would. Uh, come on now. Like, that's, that's just common sense. Common sense. Yeah. That's all it is in my mind. The Nye guy. Well, hello, the Nye guy. Good to see you, friend. I really don't want another skinny French kid on the team. Big Greg Oden vibes. Ooh. <laughs> no. No, thank you. No, no, I'm good, bro. I want more. No, no, I, I'm good. Don't you know who I am? You know. Um, all right. The Monty Show, as always, is uh, this hour's show, as always, is presented by our good friends uh, at Papa Murphy's Pizza. Make sure you use the promo code MONTY25 to get 25% off your purchase of $25 or more. But why would you only want 25% off? May 17th through 20. So that is Wednesday Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Use the code GETBOGO to get buy one, get one free at Papa Murphy's Pizza. Use the, co- yes! co- the promo code GETBOGO, G-E-T-B-O-G-O, at Papa Murphy's Pizza in the app, PapaMurphy'sPizza.com. You want to get a buy one, get one free from May 17th through the 20th, which is Wednesday through Saturday, Promo code get BOGO. Buy one, get one free. That's how you get it at Papa Murphy's Pizza. Love it, guys. I mean, they always, you know, we always have discounts for you. Like, usually it's Monty 25 to get 25% off your purchase at $25 or more. You guys, right now, it's just get a free pizza. Yeah. Get a free pizza. Get BOGO. Get buy one, get one free. Yeah. May 17th through the 20th. I'm telling you, it is a smashing smashing deal uh let's see alan train says jalen green for quentin grimes who says no <laughs> uh, i Everybody? think the Knicks say no i well, really yeah would you you wouldn't take jalen green no because i think quentin grimes has shown you something here and i think jalen green hasn't played a game of consequence he hasn't what game of consequence has he played you, do you guys see what i deal with not only do people call me fat all day then i get this guy taking grimes over jalen green well I think, I think if you put Jalen Green, well, the problem is the Knicks aren't professional either, but mm. you put Jalen Green on a professional basketball team, you put him next to LeBron James, fuck Okay, that's different. It. That's different. But you're right. You're probably right. I mean, does... Put him next to Jason Tatum. You're fine. Put him next to, you know, uh, Kevin Jaylen Durant. Brunson. Uh, mm. Jalen Brunson. Yeah, I mean, I think Jalen could hey, help him become wait a professional. Minute. Wait a minute. Uh, here we go. Don't you sit up here and talk about... Don't, don't, what's about to happen right now is Mr. Philadelphia 76er is going to turn into Mr. Boston Celtic and tell me that I'm an idiot. Okay, go ahead. You're an idiot. <laughs> what did I tell you guys on this show? <laughs> I, what did I tell you? Monty's court. I told you Friday, take the Celtics on Sunday. Yeah, whatever, dude. 
when I was sitting in the terrible John Wick film. You were in a pissy ass mood after that movie. No, I wasn't. Yeah, you were. No, I wasn't. I was focused. We were working. Uh huh. Well, some of us were. Right. Right. Anyway, um, what did I tell you? Did I not tell you to take Boston? Yeah, I think and you did. And my guy, James Harden, absolutely choked on a D. He, uh, defense. He choked Hiscock. on defense. Hiscock. No. Hiscock. No. Hiscock. His. No. I need a dick. Yes. <laughs> um, James Harden choked. Period. <laughs> and, if, and that's it. That's the whole thing. Joel. James Harden choked. Joel. I'm not ready to say Joel choked. They were double teaming aggressively, both of those guys. And I still maintain, and I will go to my grave saying this about this 76er team. <laughs> Tobias Harris is making the most money on that team. I, you, no, you. Bro, what are you talking about, man? No, you, you heard me right. Tobias Harris. He absolutely, it, to me, you have one game, Tobias Harris was their leading scorer. Yeah. On one of seven from three. Bro. Now, James Harden had nine points. He was a minus 30. <coughs> <coughs> Are you done? <laughs> James Sorry, Harden I was, was just trying to play a choking soundbite. Because, you know, this is, you know, Houston Rockets, James Harden showing up for the 76ers. Yeah, but this is the lone bad game he had in the series. Yeah, whatever. It's the only game that mattered, dude. Nine points, one of five from three, three of 11 from the floor. Joe was five of 18, 15 points. Notice no one's talking about the game one performance. Yeah, because it doesn't matter because you choked mm -hmm. in game seven. No, this was a brutal loss. But here's a, here's a question for you. Should Doc Rivers be fired? Yeah. You think unequivocally, no doubt about it. Yeah. There's too many coaches available. I'd be trying to go and get Monty Williams. Yep. Jet Wayman, the Tau King of Utah. I told y'all before game six, if Philly had to close it out, you did. You actually yeah, did, you say, did that. say that. you did say that, dude. Uh, Alan Train. Tobias Harris is overrated like Ben Simmons. Dude, did you see Ben Simmons on Twitter? No. Bro, so they're, they're getting, 76ers are getting absolutely torched. Yeah, it was over down. like after, I think right after tip off, the game ended. Yeah, they were down, they're down 30. And I think he tweeted a picture with like eight minutes left in the fourth and they're down by some ridiculous number. And he tweets that a picture of his living room with his TV, his huge TV. And everyone was like, damn, like trolling, trolling the 76ers. And, and I just wanted to say, dude, Ben Simmons, you haven't proven anything, man. Like you, you're not in the league regularly because you're Mr. My back hurts. You're Mr. I need a mental health day. And I respect that, but that only goes so far. Dude, that only goes so far, man. At some point, your ass needs to be on the floor playing basketball. And you haven't wanted to do that. So, whatever. I don't have a problem. I mean, Philadelphia was so remarkably unfair yeah. to Ben Simmons. Brooklyn was not. Philadelphia was. How is Doc Rivers not fired yet? You fired Monty Williams, like, before he got to the locker room. Like, you fired Monty Williams quick. Yeah. And now you're telling me that you haven't fired Doc Rivers, which is remarkable. And I've never said this, and I will probably never say this again. I agree with Stephen A. Smith. Bro, dude, dude, what? Bro. You just have to, like, snap out of it a little bit. What did you just say? James Harden should shave that beard. Bro, what are you talking about, man? After that performance, James Harden should shave that beard. Because I, it's, I think it's humiliating. It's a joke the way that James Harden performed. It's a joke. It, it just, it's a joke. It's yep. terrible. Yep. Uh, Ken Williams, you put my idea down. So if you don't know about guns, why are you saying Ken don't start? Oh, what are you talking about? I have no idea I what don't you're know. talking about. Ken, I don't know what you're talking uh, about. Sean Mirzinski, how is Doc still coaching? That's what well, I'm saying. Well, I think, so how much of the Monty Williams thing is new owner, new coach? Because I think a lot of people oh, a lot are of it. factoring A that. lot of it. Yeah. A lot of it. But you know what? Jimmy Otson makes a great, a great point. The Sixers got rid of Jimmy Butler to keep Tobias Harris. <laughs> <laughs> and Jimmy kept receipts on that one. Jimmy kept receipts. Y'all know, know that hallway video, right? But you guys know that Jimmy Butler and the Heat are, are in the Eastern Conference Finals. Yeah, all four teams that moved on, bubble teams. But oh, you LeBron's said something to me. Yeah, but that's, you said that to me earlier, and I thought it was really interesting.
Oh, LeBron's bubble championship doesn't count because it's the bubble. Yet all four of the same guys are right back in the finals again. Like, I don't understand how. And really, I don't understand why people want to discount the bubble championship. I think the bubble championship is arguably, arguably, one of the most difficult championships ever won based on what was going on in the bubble yeah. that we know of now. Yeah. Like the isolation, the it was ridiculous. Yeah. I don't see how you don't... Ha how, I, like discounting the bubble championship to me has always been really stupid. It's wild. Because I think it was really difficult to do. I think it's really difficult. Uh, Brandon, uh, or Brent Burnett, excuse me, what did Simmons do? Well, you remember when he was with the Sixers, he refused to dunk that. Well, not refused. He passed up a wide open layup and then refused to take a shot from about five feet. Yeah. And because he was mind effed, he had the, he had the yips and they ran him out of Philadelphia for it. Yeah. Sean Mirzinski. Doc Rivers is an overrated coach. Can't disagree now. Tanner Plummer, the super soaker. I don't know. Cause I can't. Uh, Ken, I don't put your ideas down. I said, let's not start a gun argument. Well, you know. That, the, and Ken and I talked about this directly, I don't know, a week or so ago. Right. I don't care what your opinions on guns are. Right. But we need to have an open conversation about guns, politics. Everybody is outraged. Without people yelling and screaming, Second Amendment! Hey, uh, you know, people are a lot of shootings in the... Second Amendment! Look, we can't do that. Yeah. We you have know. to talk about the whys and the hows. Yeah. And, you know, the, the, the solutions. Let's have conversations about solutions instead of talking about stupid bump socks. Or like, but we can't do that in this country, which is why Salty Drunk is like, yeah, look at your flimsy gun laws. Well, we just elected a new mayor in my hometown of Chicago. Do you think anything will change? No. No. One. Nope. Because gun laws are not the answer. Systematic change in the gun industry you know mental health we don't talk about those things though we only talk about mental health at night in alleys where all the lights are out and we can stand between two dumpsters because we don't want to be seen talking about mental health uh salty victor's the way that was gold by ben simmons i think it was too ben simmons got off the australia team oh did he really mike maples i agree brett alan train ben simmons is a lost cause can't disagree with that Salty Victor's the way. Ben Simmons was an all-star, wasn't he? Nothing, Jake. He was an all-star. Dude, Ben Simmons wasn't the rookie of the year, but he was. Yeah. Ben Simmons. Please. Mr. Mid. How many guys waste themselves? Oh, tons. John like, Moran. Jake's former high school teammate is at the plate for the Yankees right now. Wearing 61. Hey, Help man. me. I'll take it. Um... Yeah. I don't know how you I, like. There's so many guys that you can't even think about <coughs> who didn't have the career that Kyle Korver had. Think about that. Yep. Like, ha, has bet who had a better career, Kyle Korver or Ben Simmons? Fucking Kyle Korver had By a better a career. By a lot. Like, and I know I, I was I was texting with a buddy of mine that I used to work with in TV because you know I got fired from a radio job I ever had. Right. Um. And we were talking about Kyle Korver versus every other player of his generation. J.J. Redick. And it's like half of them had a better career than Ben Simmons. Yeah. That's crazy. Crazy. Kyle Korver or Chris Webber, who had a better career? Think it's about close, it. dude. It's close. Think about it. It's n and it's not crazy. Does Kyle Korver ever ring? Let me ask you this. Better career, Ben Simmons or... or the golfer, uh, Smith. LeBron's teammate in Cleveland. Oh, J.R. Smith. J.R. Smith. Good Lord. J.R. Smith had a better career. J.R. Smith or Ben Simmons? J.R. Smith. <laughs> By a lot. Not even close. Right? Yeah. Like, it's crazy how many role players, Patrick Beverly or Ben Simmons. This is my life that I'm reduced to. Arguing over text with a guy I used to work with, Ben Simmons or Ben Simmons or... J or uh, Pat Bev. I think Ben. Uh, I think Pat Bev has had a better career than Ben Ben Simmons. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, isn't that crazy? But everybody thinks, oh, Ben Simmons has had. A no, he hasn't. 
No, he is not. Now you gotta you gotta come down a little bit as far as players. Like you gotta you gotta be Ben Simmons or John Collins. Ben Simmons or um hmm. <laughs> Ben Simmons or Nick Claxton. I take Nick guys. Claxton. Those are the guys. But no, if you think about role scrubby role players, like and J.R. Smith specifically, I think makes a perfect example here. Because J.R. Smith is, Smith is so maligned for that Cavs incident, the timeout thing, the didn't know the time and score. Yeah. Hey, uh, Ben Simmons or Quinn Cook? Quinn Cook. Y'all remember Quinn he's Cook, He's got right? rings. He's won, and he's been a contributor. And now isn't he getting paid in China? I believe he is, yes. I think Quinn Cook's a million-dollar player in China. Oh, my God, Aaron Judge can hit. Holy shit. He just hit an absolute laser. Aaron Judge, I... Dude. Stay hard. Like, Dude, that... Dude, are you going to be okay? I want to be Aaron Judge. I am a, a, I am a merciless, merciless baseball fan. I'm like, so bricked up right now. I have no team because every team... Jake and I were talking about this this morning on the way in dude i said to jake do i have a team or a player that's worth a damn right now the cubs are terrible brutal devin booker done like think of any the sex machine justin herbert the blackhawks, done. The, blackhawks. the chicago hey, blackhawks hey. terrible dude won the draft lottery though we're back on track and now rizzo did rizzo get it no. oh that would have been i would have had to walk out and spend some time in a closet because bro Aaron, look at this swing by Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge just hit a letter high fastball down the cock. Oppo out of the yard in Hiscock. Toronto. Hiscock. My God. If, if, if is there a better wannabe player than Aaron Judge? Like I want to be that guy. Man, Bryce. I loved him getting ejected. Oh yeah, that was awesome, dude. Spangler, wait, sorry, Corbett doesn't have a ring. He was in the finals, though. Yeah, Corbett, he doesn't have a ring. No, he does not have a ring, but he was a phenomenal player. Big Dog O-Town, let's keep it 100 up in here. Ben really hasn't had a consistent career like those other guys you mentioned. Real talk. He hasn't. That's the crazy thing. He's made a ton of money. Rookie of the year. Garbage. And Kyle Corver had a better career. Waves in opposition. Right? Kyle Corver had a better career than Ben Simmons. Yeah. Tell me I'm wrong. No, you're not. Brent Burnett, <laughs> he ain't wrong. Ben is making big bucks, so he has something, and he was tapping a Kardashian for a hot second. Dude. Spangler, I told y'all Aaron Judge was the face of MLB. He is. One of the faces. He is. Absolutely he is. But if you think about it, I do not have a team or a player to root for right now. The Cubs are freaking terrible. The Padres, who are my alter ego team. Oh! Yowzer. Dude, the Yankees Bro. are just teeing off. Alex Manoa, you suck. My God. Garbo. Willie, Willie Calhoun, Calhoun just went yard I'm for sorry, the Yankees. I'm sorry, who? Who? Good Lord. Who the hell is Willie Calhoun? Uh, Alan Train, why are we talking about Ben Simmons? We were talking... Because that's what happens on this show. Bro, did you just get here? There's... Alan, that's what happens on this show. We start talking about basketball, and then Jake says something stupid, and then Out of here. some guy calls me fat, and we start talking about Ben Simmons, so we feel better. I've had a better basketball career than Ben Simmons. Yeah, seriously. And I'm fat, and I can't golf, apparently. Kiss my butt! You know. Um, Brett Burnett says, we want to know how many picks Ben is worth. None. None. Uh, Willie Wilson says, how about them Rangers? Ooh. DeGrom, though. Yeah, how about, uh, quote, forearm stiffness? If you could go back and do it again, would you still sign Jacob DeGrom? Hell no. Nah, I don't Not think you can. Not if you're the Rangers. I don't think you can. But you did, and that contract's guaranteed, and you're done. There's a, re re there's a reason why Ben Simmons' initials are P.S. Tanner! Tiger! Tanner goes to Yellowstone for a week, and all of a sudden he's got energy and he's rolling. Ooh, I got a reset in nature. I Ooh. saw some buffaloes. Ooh. We made nature in nature. Ain't no reset. Ooh. Hiscock. Uh, Jet Wayman, I love Aaron Judge. Me too. Me too. A a Anthony Rizzo is still my favorite baseball player. He's on the Yankees. The he's crying not on the Cubs. shame he's not a Cub. And, and it's a freaking joke he's not a Cub.
It's embarrassing. It, it's terrible. Seriously, it is. It is absolutely terrible. You know, and oh whatever. man, anyway. bro. The Monty Show presented by our good friends at the Advocates, theadvocates.com. You guys, you you have to prepare for eventualities in life, and unfortunately, with our beautiful weather and everybody's outside, accidents are going to happen. Those car accidents. You know, the the we had a huge garage sale in our neighborhood this weekend. We got to talk about that. There bro. were multiple accidents <laughs> on our streets. That's not your fault. That's not your fault. If you get hurt at work, that's not your fault, man. Think about, sit here right now in your head and say to yourself, hey, I was at work and a box fell off a pallet onto my foot. I broke my ankle. Damn. Or, you know, like those things that just happen that you can't prepare for. You got hurt at work. Talk to a professional workman's comp attorney who works for the, the working man, who represents the guy who's trying to figure out, damn, I broke my ankle. How am I going to pay my bills? <coughs> is, my, <coughs> is my employer really going to work with me? Because every employer is like, oh, you broke your ankle? We got you, man. We'll take care of it. You don't need to call a lawyer. Well, why wouldn't you call a lawyer when you have absolutely nothing to lose? And by that, I mean it costs you absolutely nothing because you don't pay for consultations. There are no retainers at the advocates. Chat with an attorney live online, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, theadvocates.com, utahadvocates.com. Dude, hook it up because these guys are professional. They understand what you're going through. They've been where you are right now because they've seen it all because they have decades of experience at the advocates, theadvocates.com, the best injury attorneys in the business, whether that's a car accident, whether that is a workman's comp issue. Hey, are you fighting for your social security for you or a loved one? Is your sister, your mom, your brother, your dad, your best friend getting an accident? And they're like, dude, I don't need a lawyer. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. And if you meet with the advocates and you still don't think you need a lawyer, hey, great, wash your hands of it. But you have nothing to lose by going to theadvocates.com and talking to an attorney live online for free 24 seven at theadvocates.com. Alan Train, Warriors dynasty isn't over. We just need to get rid of Jordan Poole. This is a fascinating question. The dynasty question. is not over. Ask yourself this question. Who's more valuable to the Dubs? Jordan Poole or Draymond Green? Because both of them can't be there. Draymond Green. I don't even think it's a question. But here's my other question. Can you really justify keeping Dre, Clay, and Poole on that team? Oh, here's another question. Are you telling me you're keeping Dre, Clay, Poole, and Kaminga on that team? Because at some point, Moody's got to play 30 minutes a night. Like, you got to develop the next generation because yep. Steph's going to be there for at least five more years. You better do something to win three championships in five years. And I'm telling you, I would move on from Draymond Green. You got to move on. I would trade Kaminga, I would trade Poole, and I would move on from Draymond. Okay. And if Dre goes to the Lakers, that's just the way the business is done. But if you're the Golden State Warriors, don't you have to secure your future? I think you do. And your future, by the way, is now. There's nothing that says the Dubs can't win a championship a year from now. But you got to reload that thing. Yeah. You got everybody wants to play for the, the Warriors. Yeah. There's not a free agent or a player that you can't trade for. I would go out and do it. I would I would absolutely go out and do it. I agree. And by the way, there's another guy that are the Suns are the Suns going to be able to convince Devin Booker after next season that he should stay there for the betterment of his career? <coughs> because I think there's no doubt DeAndre Ayton and Chris Paul gone. Yeah. Gone. It's over. So what do you really have there? Because after that, you don't got a lot. Well, I mean, you have KD and Book, and I think that's plenty to build around. I think what you mm -hmm. need to figure out to is... To build around. Yeah, what, what you need to figure out is who's going to be the guy coming off the bench because campaign ain't it. And I think that... You know, Torrey Craig's a nice little role player, but he's not it either. You need your Lonnie Walker coming off the bench, and they don't have that right now. Yeah, I think the Suns are a long way from competing. And my biggest fear for Devin Booker, who is by far my favorite NBA player, you got a guy with a bunch of money in his pocket, and I don't think he has any idea how to spend it. I don't think he has any idea how to spend it. Could be. And you gave up an awful lot of draft capital. An awful lot of draft capital. Uh, Mapes, what's up, Mike Maples? Trade Ben for the Monty Show membership, but just the tier one. I'm not trading the 999 membership. See, that's what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, dude. Does Ben Simmons ever become an all-star? No. He'll never be an NBA all-star again. I don't think so, no. Oof. No, I, no. 
That's tough. Riley O'Brien, hey, Monty. Hey, Monty. See you at the uh, RSL match coming up on uh, June 10th. How about my guy, Riley O'Brien, going to uh, Big O Tires and American Fork, presenting sponsor uh, of our summer RSL, supportive summer RSL, Clarendon Cobalt. I can't remember what we call the <laughs> We're chasing the Clarendon Cobalt. Chasing the Clarendon Cobalt. Uh, go to Big O Tires and American Fork like Riley O'Brien did. Or you can go to Super Chicks in Ogden. That's not how you spell Ogden. No, it's not. Um, Or go to Super Chicks. Hey, look at that. In Ogden and St. Wow. George. Off Riverdale Road. Riverdale Road in Ogden. In St. George. Go in there and say, hey, I heard about you guys on the Monty Show. Snap me a picture of you eating at the Super Chicks on Riverdale Road or the Super Chicks in the Jeezy. You're entered to win. I think because because of all the activity over the weekend, and I haven't heard from Jet Wayman yet, but I think we're down to four spots left, and we're saving two of them for qualifiers. Yeah. So really, you got two spots left. We're down to like two guaranteed spots, and that's it because of guys like Riley O'Brien, who went into Big O Tires and American Fork. I'm telling you, anything you need, car repair, go see Ryan at American Fork Big O Tires. Dude Oil changes, tune ups. Tire rotations, new tires, balancing, so Hank's alignments. So Hank's getting an overhaul. Hank is on Wednesday. I am so stoked about this. I am used to having like blacked out tint in my cars. Right. And so that's you have just, two Jeeps. Because Ja, when he wants to roll around with me, he wants blacked out tint. <coughs> Nothing? <coughs> okay. <coughs> anyway, <coughs> I have two Jeeps now. I have a lifted Jeep Wrangler, and I have a Jeep Grand Cherokee Hemi V8. Summit edition. A summit edition. And I love my Jeep Grand Cherokee. Hank's going to get some ceramic tint from my guy, Ryan, at Big O Tires and American Fork on Wednesday, Wednesday. And uh, we're getting an oil change as well. Going to rotate the tires. Um, it's going to be amazing. I am super stoked about it. Yeah. But, hey, man, anything you need with your car repair, make sure you get it at Big O Tires and American Fork. That's how you see us at RSL. Versus NYFC on June 10th in the Zag Club at uh, America First Field. By the way, uh, all you have to do, if you buy, if you spend money with our guys at American Fork, Big O Tires, you're in. Boom. Automatic. Two spots automatic left. That's it. We're down to two. We had 15 spots. We're down to two. Filling in for somebody. Boom. Boom. Out of here. It's going to be amazing. And then we're going to save two spots for people who went to Super Chicks in Ogden on Riverdale Road or in St. George. We're doing it. We're going to save two spots for people who commented on the Big O Tires and American Fork, Instagram and Twitter. Love you guys for doing that. Thanks for supporting the show. We really appreciate you guys. Uh, Jet said, unfortunately, I will be out of town on the 10th. <gasps> so I won't be able to make it. I still went to Big O and got my brakes done, though. My guy. Let's go, Jet. Let's go. Dude, did you get any pictures, bro? You didn't even let us know you got your brakes done, dude. Let's go. What kind of casual are you? Salt person um, to me. Uh, what? So what? Mrs. Monty went to Big Mrs. O Monty. Tires, in, or Big O Tires, went to the bucked up store in South Jordan. Oh boy. Because they were supposed to get a shipment today because they're sold out of Buckshot. Nope. Didn't get their shipment today. Boom, out of here. So now I'm going to have to go on a hunt. Riley O'Brien, the Monty Show, any radio stations, and I love the folks who claim Monty was fired from these stations. The Monty Show runs circles around any station I've listened to. There was a guy who came in early who said, I've been, you guys, nine out of 10 people would be jealous about the career I've had. I've had, I'm not even bragging. Like it's on LinkedIn, knock yourself out. Oh, I've had real. a lovely career. I have not, I, I think I was, you could call it fired one time in St. Louis and they fired everybody on the entire radio station. Other than that, <clears throat> like when we were here in Salt Lake City, like, in 2015, the radio company I worked for sold the land under the transmitter. And they're like, hey, we think that deal's going to close in 18 months. Uh, we'd like you to stay on. You want, I'd like to give you a contract extension for 18 months. I was like, nah, I'm good. Like, how do you sell the... Don't even get me started. Yeah. But I've worked at Sporting News Radio, ESPN Radio, the great KMBR and K KGO in San Francisco, like... 
I mean, I, I, I've worked at, I've, I've had a great career. You guys yeah. don't give a shit. Like, I've had a great career. I have no, I, you know, it's easy. Uh, Jeremy Callahan, Monty, I showed you how to make those buck shots go further into the event of a short, well, you were, you're not wrong. He did, actually. I'm for real. Jet Wayman, I didn't get picks, Jake. I'm a casual. I did tell you guys on Friday that I was getting them done, though. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Uh, went to the Bucked Up store at Farmington and told them the Monty Show sent me, and the lady said she doesn't know who that is. Damn it. Casual. The lady at the Bucked Up Farmington store said that. I will have to let people know about that. Tanner said, I don't want to go anymore. Okay. Sorry to Shut hear that, go, dude. dude. Uh, Willie Wilson said, Monty cruising around the 801. I am always out and about. Yep. Always out and about. By the way, big shout out to whoever that was. You yelled my name in uh, downtown Daybreak the other night. Appreciate you. I love that people do that. And they're like, oh, I didn't want to bother you while you were eating dinner. Yeah, you'll yell your n <laughs> his name from across the street. <laughs> Bet you weren't expecting this one. Uh that's so funny. Tanner says he doesn't want to go anymore. Why, dude? That's too like, bad. what do you? What? That's too bad. Y you're, you're. So here's the problem. You're assuming that you were going in the first place. That's the problem. And now you're disappointed, and you're just too good for us. Yeah, apparently. And I think he's upset that LAFC actually owns RSL. Yeah. Like they actually the other night like took the deed from Ryan Smith like right out of his dead fingers. Stock at, at midfield. <laughs> Yeah, if we never see if we never see LAFC again, that'd be just fine. That's it. Jansen, do I have a guaranteed spot since I just went to Big O Tires? You do. Yep. You do, in fact, have a guaranteed spot. You do. Um, let's see. Ruff's official. Way to rat on the poor girl working at the store. What what are you talking about? Who ratted on who? Uh Brandon Butler, Tanner is scared of NYFC. Well, there are mean people in New York. Uh, Gary, so last two spots are saved for Super Chicks goers. Now I'm really hoping uh, uh, I win. Well, well, you did go to Super Chicks. How about my guy Gary going to Super Chicks? We'll give you Tanner's spot. Yeah, you since know. Tanner's too good for us now. Since Tanner's yeah. too good to spend time with us. Yeah, too, too good for us. I guess no Eagles fans allowed, right? Ooh. Um, <laughs> Tanner, why do you open yourself up to this? I don't understand it. Uh, Maury Alvarez says, I have my bucked up. I am set. Let's go, Maury. Here we go. Salty uh, says, Tanner's crying again. He's not. I love my guy, Tanner. Tanner doesn't understand. I, and I'm serious about this, and I've told Tanner this. Tanner Plummer does not understand that he is a character on this show. Yeah. That he has, like, a huge place on this show. Here I am. Tanner just does not understand that. And I don't think he wants to understand that. Yeah. I think Tanner just wants to, uh, yeah. you know. He just wants to be around. That's cool, man. There ain't no problem with that. We're good. And I'm fine We're with good. that. We're good. Tanner, you, you always have a spot on the show. You don't have to come to the RSL match. That's fine.